Well, look at this pretty row of yellow and white. What are we looking at here, Leanne? Do you know? Well, that's Queen Anne Grace, and this actually is the Scotch yeah. plum that we don't like. We don't it's, like this. No. It's, it's, it's the foreign invader. It's an invader. And that's it's right. Really, people that have allergies get really upset. Oh, man. I, I better walk over here then. Yeah. <laughs> Good thing I have my mask on to protect me from pollen. I don't know if it protects against pollen, but... <laughs> well, that's pretty to look at, guys, it's but... Pretty. We don't, it's not good for our local environment so much because it's an invasive plant. So it might be nice to look at, but it's just not so healthy to the local environment. Yeah. Yeah, you can hear some of the birds in the distance. What? Walking on the trail. Hi, little birdie. You think he'll be our new trail guide? I'm gonna follow our new trail guide. Oh, he's flying away. Oh, no, he's on a bench. We're coming to the end of the walk here soon, guys. Here's a bench, and this one, I always like to check out what they're dedicated to. This one says, in loving memory, of Tom Rowe, 1948 to 2011. I know a Greg Rowe. He might be the one who donated the land. Oh, okay. There was a, I'm not sure about that. Though. That's sometimes right though, Leanne, like when they have a dedication, often it has a commemorative quality, like at the Rockefeller Tree Loop quest we did, the little rocky plaque that was dedicated to John Rockefeller and his family because they donated a large portion of money to save that old growth redwood forest. Way off in the distance is Highway 101, guys. Way over there you can see the tops of the eucalyptus trees. Yeah. I wonder if you can see the, the tennis club from here. I was looking to see, but because I Because it's a big... Okay, so... If we look way down in the very other end, there's a little tiny greenhouse and there's a cluster of trees. It's right in the middle there. It's okay. right in the middle there. Because I'll take Drexler on walks down to the foot of Park Street. Mm -hmm. Beautiful. I haven't put that one on camera yet, but I think I'm going to do that for the students for another little bonus video. It's just another little Drexler walk because it's a really, really beautiful area and it's all marshland, so it'd be cool to feature. Anyways, guys, we're about done with our little walk here. It just kind of wraps around to the end and overlooks the slough. But there's some people down there, yeah. and we're going to just let them be and make our way back the way we came. And then I'd like to show you a quick little shot of the farm store uh, before we leave. So thanks for joining us on our fun little adventure quest today. It's a little different. We didn't follow a treasure map or anything, but still lots to learn local area all of us are in our masks and we were able to keep our distance out here so again another thing you can do safely in the times of covid thank you guys and i hope that you have a great rest of your afternoon yeah and come check out this area if you can it is beautiful this is something you really need to try to do with your families or one of your friends respite worker whomever this is a great spot. All right. See you later.